¿Vale? Ahora qué pasó? Why are you here? Are you lost? No, we are not. A secret? Hey, what are you doing? Our mission calls for a delicate approach. Uh, sure, but still. Hmm. Actually, you've arrived at just the right moment. I have business with you too, in fact. Here, catch. Huh? What's this? As you can see, it is a sword. I did not make the sword. However, I did add some alchemical touches to it. Hmm. Would you like to try it out? My research indicates that this sword has some unique properties. Only you can use it. But mm. I need to gather data from it quite urgently. So, could I bother you to use it in battle? No. Wait a second. How can there be a sword that only one person can use? Very astute of you. This sword has indeed had a curse laid upon it. An ordinary person would be unable to wield it at all. However, you are an exception. Huh? Or perhaps I should say that only you are immune to the curse. As such, who could I find to help me if not you? Or we gain little from saying more. Go find some monsters nearby. After all, some things are best discovered through practice. ¿Y en eso tiene razón? <laughs> Over here, it's with this brat. Okay. Give it back, you thief! Treasure hoarders? There are treasure hoarders in a place this cold? Enough talk. Hand it over. Watch out. There's no way. Now that's 
rich. Treasure hoarders calling us thieves? They certainly hmm. arrived quickly. <laughs> Goodness, no. They seem to have been talking about this sword. What's going on? Why are you looking at me like that? Of course I didn't steal the sword. Not long ago, the knights caught a band of treasure hoarders outside the city. The goods they were smuggling were also impounded. This sword was one of those items. We believed it to be stolen plunder, but no one came to claim it. Nor could we find out where it came from, so it languished in our stores. Mm. I noticed it quite by chance while in our storehouse. To tell you the truth, such an old sword would see little use outside of alchemy. Uh, you claimed it for yourself just like that? So then what happened? You just took it with you? Indeed. And I initially intended to perform some experiments on it. But I unexpectedly discovered its true origins in the process. This ancient-looking weapon once passed through the hands of a now-deceased blacksmith. It is a legendary, magical sword. A magical sword? Hmm. It is said that the smith vanished not long after creating the weapon, with the weapon subsequently becoming lost to time. Working backwards from its eventual fate as plunder, one can guess that it was then stolen by the treasure hoarders, where it remained in obscurity till recently. The blacksmith who made this weapon disappeared? That's kind of spooky. No wonder it's cursed. Exactly. Do you know the story of Durin and this mountain? <laughs> Durin was the black dragon who menaced Mondstadt, before finally being defeated by the combined efforts of the Valen and the Animo Archon Barbados. Hmm. After a fierce battle, the vanquished Durin crashed to ruin here, falling into the thick snow. Snow gathers atop this mountain and never melts, which is a most curious phenomenon. Which leads one to wonder, was Durin's fall here purely by chance, or was it intent? Could it really have been intent? Perhaps this place was chosen as a gravesite precisely so that the snow's power could seal the corrosive toxin coming from Durin's body. It seems plausible that Barbados would think of such a method. Huh. Was Barbados such a capable god? Well, <laughs> these are just my postulations. I don't have any evidence. But what's for certain is that this mountain and Durin are deeply intertwined. In fact, I believe that the very sword in your hand has Durin's remains in it. A dragon's remains? Indeed. The dragon's eyes, claws, and scales ground into dust before being used to coat the blade. In this way, Durin's corruption and venom entered into the sword and became the source of its power. This is very advanced craftsmanship. Hmm. I presume that having successfully forged the weapon, the smith y must have tried it out himself to enjoy. Mm -hmm. But using the sword in battle would have allowed the corruption to seep through the blade's handle and into their bodies. Ordinary mortals cannot withstand such power. The blacksmith must then have fled, driven mad by the curse, before meeting their end in some unknown place. You've purified the Valen's tears before, which is a very rare ability indeed. This ability has protected you from being corrupted or poisoned, and you can completely eliminate their effects, which is why you and only you can properly wield this sword. Still, this sword really is huge. Yikes! It's glowing! As far as I'm concerned, this is where the real experiment begins. This sword is still very weak at present. However, it is able to absorb energy. And through that, it is able to constantly become stronger. In some sense, you could even say that it is a living mm -hmm. thing. <clears throat> well then, traveler. Adventure with it to your heart's content. I need you to help it grow. I believe that we will soon have all the proof that we need. Hmm. Albedo! You're back. <laughs> no, andaba de parranda, Albedo. Check it out! 
Hmm, indeed. It is as I thought. This sword grows stronger as you use it in battle. I thought that only applied to people. And that's precisely what makes it special. Ah, yes. I should mention a more important matter first. I've investigated the area nearby, and I've discovered some unusual signs. It's not more thieves, is it? That's true. I believe that these strange traces require investigation. Whether it be thieves or something else, we shall investigate, and we shall find out. Hmm. ¿En qué pedo no me está bueno? Hmm. Lots of human activity here, that's for sure. Looks like more than one person, too. No, eran 20. So they Algo que eran más de uno, nunca viajan solo. Huh. Here to steal, just as usual. It would be rather convenient to rob adventurers who come up here, yes. It's survival of the fittest here on this mountain, huh? All that stealing, though, and still every last one of them still poor as dirt. Hmm. Anyone who calls us thieves gets no pity from Paimon. <laughs> Who's that? Who are these sniveling sneaks snooping around our camp? Ah, we're busted! Come on, cubierto. Another one with my blade. Mierda, son nivel 90. The Fatui. And they chose to attack us within the treasure hoarder's camp. Did they follow us here? Did you? Yo no creo. Um, maybe it's something we all did then. I think the Fatui are looking for the sword. Uh, weren't you keeping the sword super secret? How did they know it existed? Perhaps they caught sight of you using it on the mountain. If their eyes are any good, they'll definitely have seen how this sword stands out from the rest. They really want everything, don't they? Yep. Not quite, no. The Fatui are collecting things related to the Archons. This, I believe, is known to you. Huh. Now that you mention it, we did hear Master Diluc say that. Durin is the sworn enemy of the Animo Archon, and had power comparable to his. To say that it could rival the Archons, or was related to them, Neither is an overstatement. So that's how it is. I made a new discovery while sketching nearby. There's an area up ahead that's quite remarkable. Its ley lines flow differently from any other. Nearby monsters have been attracted to it and have fallen under its influence. As a result, their constitutions have come to far surpass others of the same kind. That seems convenient. Well, we're here to help this sword grow, aren't we? Might as well go try it out on those monsters. Precisely my intention. Oh, and do remember to observe how various enemies affect this sword differently while you're at it, please. Hmm. So how did it feel? I have a hypothesis concerning this. Each time the sword absorbs power from the bodies of fallen enemies, it will resonate with Durin's remains, hidden somewhere on this mountain. Holy moly, that sounds amazing! Mm. If my theory proves correct, this could mean that all the monsters here may be resonating with Durin's body. I fear this may have to do with the origin of these monsters' powers. Durin is no ordinary beast. Even though it is long dead, the entire mountain is still held in thrall by its corpse. The dragon's mysterious power may itself be a form of curse. We still don't have enough information. If we wish to understand more, more data is required. This is where you come in. Guess story times become work time. <laughs> I have some research work that needs settling, so we will have to work separately for now. Let's meet up again near the broken bridge. Perhaps it is too soon to ask our greenhorns to come adventuring here. 
But adventure is nothing if it is not about pushing our limits. What is a journey without struggle, without excitement? This place may be infested with wicked Hillichon bandits and knee-deep snow, but an adventurer must never stop pressing forward! Cyrus, to the point, please. <laughs> come, come. The beauty of a chat lies in the journey, not the destination. Just like an adventure. Even if you are robbed blind and must give up on your encampment, you can start a fire and cook a meal in the frigid snow. This journey up the mountain will be an unforgettable one for all our newcomers. Hmm, yes. They may resent me, or even hate me. But in the future, they will think back upon this moment with hearts full of gratitude. For this was the day that the spirit of adventure was passed on to them. Oh, yes. Go on. Oh, brother. Albedo's at it again. He's always so cold when the topic doesn't catch his dance. He sure is interested in you, though. Still, should we say that our newcomers are too green, or that the mountain is too mighty? We have taken great losses this time. What? What do you mean, great losses? Oh, you must be. Long time no see! <laughs> ah, yes! The young adventurer and his companion. It is my pleasure to see you here. I trust these frigid ascents have not given you too much trouble? Ha! <laughs> we can take anything it has to throw at us. Ha ha ha! Good, good! I love your confidence! But you must be here on some important duty, braving the wind and snow like this. I came here to gather the latest data on Hilly Charles, and asked him to serve as my assistant. Ah, I see. A gathering of people chasing their dreams and ideals, is it? Then I wish you all the best. Farewell for now. I must go see to our new recruits. <laughs> Looks like we've made a discovery. Well, it is a magical sword after all. It's understandable that he doesn't want other people to know about it. I am listening, you know. There is no should or shouldn't here. I can answer your questions, but not right now. Right now, I have more pressing matters on hand. Pressing matters? <sighs> Let Paimon guess. We've got a part to play in it too, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> You're getting smarter, Paimon. Hey! Paimon will have you know that she's always been smart! <laughs> I have discovered some new habitats nearby with different monster types. I believe they will provide us with similarly varied data. Perseverance is key to research, and persistence is the basis of the alchemist's art. So, are you ready? Then let us go. Me va a meter en otro pedo nuevo. Hmm. It seems that no one is here. Do monsters go out to run errands too? Hmm. Well then. Would you like to take a look around before they return? Or shall we rest a while here? Just what I was thinking. So we're having a chat now? Paimon wants in! I know you must have questions. Whether it be about me, or about this entire situation. As I said before, I will answer them. But I will not deceive you. There are some things I cannot go into detail on. On these matters, you'll have to permit me to summarize a bit. Guess Albedo can be pretty straightforward when he wants to be. Uh-huh. Uh, what? What do you think? <laughs> and why aren't you asking Albedo, huh? <laughs> That's... not good. That was my sketchbook. Paimon thinks it's just your run-of-the-mill thief, really. To think that it dared to steal my sketchbook. 
quite bold, this one. Hmm. Looks like Albedo's got a frosty temper. We must get the book back. It has my notes and sketches in it. Hmm. a dead end you know except for this huge cavern entrance judging from the tracks that seems to be the case then what are we waiting for we can't let it escape hmm wait this mountain is incredibly large even if there was a path within its bowels such a road would not be easy to walk <sighs> can you feel it the wind carries the scent of ice and stone with it and the sound of echoes. The space within must be massive. Really? As such, rash moves are of no benefit to us. But, but we've come all this way. We can't just let it leave. It is, but that doesn't mean that we should act recklessly. There is another way. It just requires some extra work. If my guess is correct. This cavern's exit is on the other side of the mountain. You are quite the expert glider, and I am a fair hand myself. So, prepare yourself, and we'll glide across in one go. Right. Eh? been some damage I need to head back to see if there's anything I can salvage let's meet at the alchemy stall and launch that later shall we wow Albedo looked like he was in quite a hurry guess those who can't appreciate art shouldn't be able to handle it huh hmm Albedo how's the sketchbook situation it's all right a few pages were destroyed but most of it is intact. The temperature in the snowy mountain is sub-zero. It can reach extremely low temperatures, especially near that cavern. What makes matters worse is that the hilly churls have drooled all over the pages. To leave wet paper in such low temperatures, it's too dreadful to imagine. Frozen paper is so brittle. It doesn't take much for it to fall apart, huh? No wonder you're an alchemist. Such an ingenious mind. Mm -hmm. If the sketchbook had been severely damaged, you'd be furious, wouldn't you? What leads you to believe that? You told us there's a lot of drawings and notes inside. I must admit, I bring the sketchbook everywhere I go. However, I wouldn't fly into a rage over such a thing. Had I not been able to salvage it, I would just draw everything again. Of you. Is hmm. that so? That's right. Yep, yep. Oh. Absolutely. All well said. You took the words out of Paimon's mouth. Hmm. You're right. Redrawing everything would be a tedious endeavor. Especially since you're so talented, right? You've mastered so many skills and gathered so much knowledge that other people can only dream of. Hmm. But such talented people sometimes forget about that. It's one of the downsides of being smart, isn't it? Without a doubt, Paimon is an interesting creature. Ah, don't put Paimon on the spot when it comes to wisdom. Changing the subject, Cyrus told me that the hilly trolls from this mountain attack and rob adventurers. The place we visited should be one of their camps. Yeah, the hilly churls here are way stronger than the ones at the bottom of the mountain. I can't disagree. I assume this must be related to the dragon. The corruptive power emanating from Durin's remains is making the monsters stronger, which 
In tandem with the frigid climate, depopulated some mountain areas. Can you take out the sword, Traveler? Each time you fought in the mountains, this sword was absorbing power and storing it within itself. Moreover, thanks to your purification, the corruptive power of the dragon's blood seems to be all gone now. It's a very interesting phenomenon. It's not the first time we've done something like that. We are experts. <laughs> I always wondered what purification was capable of. I knew you were capable of doing it, but seeing it with my own eyes is a unique experience. Indeed, I can't say it's the safest of weapons. Lucky that it wasn't snatched away by those hilly churls. Otherwise, we'd be done for. Hilly churls are a threat too. What if that power could turn them into super? No, ultra hilly churls. Ultra hilly too. Mega hilly too. Ultra demon hilly churls. No, man. Now you've ruined the game. Hmm. Anyway, about the sword. If it's so powerful, can't it absorb your energy as well, Albedo? Hmm. Would you like to try it out? Yikes! Such a cold gaze. That's fine. After all, I still hope you'll continue to use this sword. You still trust us? Even though this sword is so dangerous? Well, that was unexpected. Albedo, you say one thing, but do another. Paimon can never tell what's really on your mind. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. But if you want to know why I trust you, it might be because the unusual ones like us share a certain degree of understanding. Hmm. Lonely individuals. Those who aren't like ordinary people. Just like uh, 